Today, we're taking a look at Vibrations by Mind Mirror. This is a serum preset pack, and it includes about 50 psychedelic sounds that you can use in your production. So let's jump into Ableton and take a look at some of the sounds. Okay, so here I am with Serum open in front of me. And to start off with, um, if you need to install this, I'm just going to show you a handy little trip, uh, trick to figure out where all the presets actually are stored on your computer. If you go save here, um, it'll take you to the default folder on your computer and then you can just go uh, presets. And all, all you need to do is you basically need to take the file that you get from me, uh, unzip it and just chuck it in here. Uh, and then once you've got it there, it'll come up inside your browser. And I'm going to show you some of the sounds that I've got inside this preset pack. It's not going to be an exhaustive look at everything that's in there. Um, it's just going to be some of my favorite ones that I've got. So um, Compelled Speech is one of the first ones that I made and one of my favorites. So... so you can imagine doing some really cool rhythmic sequences with this sound. Every time you press it, it's triggering a different position in the wavetable. And what you've got at your fingertips is um, full modulation over the sound as well. So you could um, be playing it, make it metallic, make it wider in the stereo field, make it more vowel-y, and give it a bit more bite. Just makes the transient a bit more aggressive if you really want to bring it to the front of the mix. So that is um, compelled speech. Now, I haven't put reverb or delay on a lot of these presets because I typically do it myself um, with other plugins. And in this case, I'm using Echo Boy, um, one over eight dotted time. And then I'm using Valhalla Plate just to give it the um, delay and reverb in this case. So that's one of the first sounds. Um, here we've got Giggle Gaggle. I really like Giggle Gaggle and I've got a delay on that, so I'll just turn it off. You can play it down low. You get that really alien kind of sound. And you can play it relatively high and you get cool sounds up there too. So right across sort of three octaves. And just for um, your information as well, when you see the preset, um, I've got C0 and above. So that's where I was sort of designing the sound. That's where it kind of sounds best. And then I was saying that you should use an ARP or a MIDI pattern, 1 over 8th or 1 over 16th to arrange this. Now, of course, this is not what you need to do, um, but it's just a little bit of a like a point in the right direction if you're wondering kind of, you know, how exactly I was using it. And also, um, I always open up presets all the time and play them and I just think, man, they sound like crap. And I can't sort of recreate what that original artist was trying to do with the preset. So I just put that there as a little guideline of, you know, what I was kind of doing with it. Um, so next I've got this one here that I really like, Running Water. So it sounds, you know, quite different and unique across the keyboard. And you can use it, you know, anywhere you like there. Um, so it's got a format. Gives it a little bit of a vowel sort of sound. It's got a decay, so it opens up the sound or tightens the sound. It's kind of got a little bit of a very short reverb that creates the sort of like bathroom effect. And then we've got OTT, which really smashes it, makes it a bit more aggressive. So, they're the effects that I really like. Um, next, I'm going to show you some of the leads that are really cool. So um, I quite like um, this one, Panopticon. <laughs> so 
So we've got a widen and flange on this one. So again, with something like this, I'd use an ARPA MIDI or like some sort of um, gated sequence uh, that kept re-triggering it. So I'd keep re-triggering it and gate it. And I've got a video coming soon where I'm going to be using this sample pack and showing you how I actually arrange leads. At the moment, I'm just randomly pressing buttons. Um, here we've got Big Boy. So it's a big sort of 303 sounding guy. It's got a filter that you can modulate. This adds attack to the sound. Got dimension for stereo enhancement. And then flange for sort of that metallic sound as well as a bit of stereo enhancement. So you can play around with that and create really nice sequences. Um, I've got another one that's similar called We Are Psychedelic. I really like this one. You can do really nice stuff with this and um, I'll show you some cool ways to sequence this in, uh, in the video that I talked about coming up. And then what else have we got? We got, um, and here we've got a plucking type of lead. So stereo effects on there, as well as ways to sort of modulate how um, the attack and, uh, sorry, the decay and the sustain of the sound is. And this sound is great for arpeggiated elements and melodic elements. Sounds really nice. Um, and then some of the effects. What have I got? I've got down, eddy, down. So you can do some pretty cool stuff with that one. And then what else do we got? We got uppity up, we got downward boy. We got wobbly boy. Cool, so. That gives you a little bit of an idea of what you can expect inside of the Vibrations by Mind Mirror preset pack for Serum. If you would like to purchase it, you can jump over to collectiveintelligencemusic.com. You'll find it there for $10. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again very soon.